Hello there, welcome back to England. We have increased our army, a lot of mercenaries, and it's time to go to war with Brittany. Brittany, however, is allied with Castile, the Papal State, and Utrecht. I'm hoping to do more of a financial uh, gain from this war. Brittany, I can take any time. However, Castile has just been destroyed by Aragon, so it might be a good opportunity to at least release Asturias to take away their coast, limits their ability to colonize. One fewer colonizer in the New World makes life a lot easier for me. France won't be a threat. Castile could still be a threat, so if we can get rid of them, that leaves only Portugal, who's currently my ally. So let's do it. We will be calling in Burgundy, who will hopefully go and deal with the Pope. But yes, this war will be for... let's make it for René. Very good. Off we go. Now this army simply has to walk in here and defeat this. It won't be too hard. France uh, actually controls the uh, courier, so they are excommunicating both me and Burgundy. I was already excommunicated, so uh, oh well, really. We're going to detach a siege here and march straight up to their capital. We're going to move in here and then over to here. We'll move you guys in there and you guys in there. I keep mistaking Barry for France. They really should fix that shield a little bit, make a little difference. Anyway, these guys won't last long at all. And then taking over Castile again won't be terribly hard. I don't even think they have an army right now. Ah, so too few seats in Parliament. Well, I would like to give one to Dorset. That's where I'm from in England. So I'll give them a little bit of a seat, won't we? Terrific. Um, yeah, the navies are doing their jobs. My navy's just sitting here. You're supposed to be trading. Not sure if you are or not. Siege for estate already over. Very good. We have everyone over here. Albert Herbert, what a terrific name. He will lead our army into Spain. I'm not sure what the Burgundians are going to do. Hopefully deal with the Pope. It seems like they are. No, they're my vassals. But still, the Pope is being dealt with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this army in here to uh, blockade our foes. The Spanish do have a navy, which is a little bit of a threat. But I'm sure we could defeat it. We'll get started. Excellent, we did take down one of their heavy ships. Makes life a lot easier in future. They are 4 to R6 instead of 5 to R6. Very good. But once I occupy these guys, I will uh, concentrate my efforts down in Spain. I'm sure Burgundy can deal with uh, the Pope. My vassals, I'm sure, can deal with the Pope as well. Who's that occupied by me? Good. Might better get the Pope out sooner rather than later. Utrecht is already ready to leave, it looks like. So we'll do that. They're occupied by Hume Flanders. Flanders and no one. But I could actually take that for myself. I have a word. The aggressive expansion would be so dire. But what I can do is take money. I'll gain 14 ducats from it. But I'll get the war reparations. We'll use this to uh, get stuff to give me prestige. 95. Thank you for that. Plus 8. How much do I get? Plus 2. Oh well, not the best, but it'll do the trick. But now Burgundy should go and deal with the Pope, if not Spain. Excellent, Nantes is taking care of my army. will now march into Burgos to start besieging there. The Spanish army, I'm not sure how big it is. Can't be that big, 17 plus 5, yeah. I do have military tech 5 myself, so that's not a threat. But we'll start here. In fact, can we not? No, they're just going to trap their army over here. Excellent. Let's start a besiegement on Burgos. Take down a thousand Spanish troops while we're there, and then peace out the Pope as soon as I can, really. Hopefully these guys won't take too long, and then all of these troops will swarm into Spain. Where I'm hoping to uh, not lose this battle, but just lose their coast really. It's a shame Portugal isn't involved because I could give them this but I guess not. I think I will lose here because they are going to be reinforced but that's alright. I guess we'll simply wait for the Pope to be out and then we'll let everyone else storm in. They shouldn't take the occupations for themselves. I wouldn't afford so. So uh, due to the loss of money I'm just going to wait here and let them uh, do their job. Come on, Rome, let's see you uh, 
occupied, shall we? Alright, we're already starting to march in. I'm going to go back down and try to take Vizkaya. So that uh, only I can take occupations around here. Truce of Scotland has ended. That's useful. We'll uh, put that to use sometime soon. Now it appears that the Pope has been besieged. Let's see what we can do about him. Ask him to get rid of this excommunication? No. Why not? Game to release Avignon. That will more benefit France, I think. Avignon to Provence. That, again, would as well. So what about war reparations? 245 ducats. How much would I get? 84 this amount. Thank you to my vassals. I'm not going to take any land in, in Italy, so let's just get them to, uh, I don't know, and their rival with Savoy and and uh, Florence. Plus 12 prestige. How much goes to me? A little bit. Am I actually... I'm losing a lot of prestige per year. That's a shame. Well, so while we're here, let's get a new uh, advisor. We'll try and keep the advisors always going. And we need a new debate in Parliament. I will... Uh, gain manpower. Not too useful right now. Culture conversion cost. No. Sailor recovery. Advisor cost. That could be useful. Or an extra diplomat for 10 years. Let's go for fund expansion bureaucracy. Because that could come in handy for the next 10 years. Um, we'll try and get it through bribery. Not presenting a scapegoat. Huh. Ignoring corruption might be the way to go then. Diplo support. Diplo support. Excellent, we're at 66%. That should be enough. I'm going to simply, uh, simply wait here while they besiege out Burgos. They should give it to me. I don't see why not. It is only Castile to worry about now, and their army's already been defeated pretty well. So we should be fine here. My navy, though, I don't trust them to go off and uh, try and blockade the entire area. So we're just going to simply leave them here for now while we move through. In fact, let's move my army in here just in case these guys decide they want to leave. Uh, local unrest, innovativeness, prestige. Ah, oh, so use that then. Brittany is desperate for peace, but I am desperate for Spain to be weakened, so we're going to stay here. Castile has entered a military alliance. There, Lorraine has declared war on Provence. Interesting. Very interesting. But I can now go all the way around these lands. Let's, let's take over there. Let's take over there. We'll simply move you guys over to here because that won't be uh, required any longer. Excellent. Oh, I could leave my army all there, suffering attrition, but it's not really necessary. Another mill tech. I'm not going to take it. I'm going to wait for my other techs to uh, catch up. In fact, I don't actually need to be focusing there anymore. I'm very far ahead. So we'll simply uh, get our extra points elsewhere. Can't take that, that's a shame. I'm sure Spain won't last terribly much longer. They don't appear to have an army. It must be somewhere though. Oh, there it is. I call them Spain, uh, Castile. But like I said, they should not last terribly long. The entire nation will be occupied and we will try to squeeze out both... Uh, what are these guys called? These, uh, these fellas? Ostolius and Galicia. That'll release the entire coastline. Because if, if I'm going to take personal land, I could take it in Spain. Or I could just take it up here and try to use my aggressive expansion to eat through France. I think that would be more beneficial. Use my aggressive expansion on this uh, peninsula up here as opposed to over here, where I can just simply squeeze out nations instead. Let's actually uh, size up a peace deal. I would want you to release Ostolius. I can't do both. It's either one or the other. And Galicia would hurt them more. And then Portugal would perhaps try and take it over, which would not be the worst thing. Whereas Asturias, I could try and keep for myself. I could take that, which would upset the people around this particular region. But, like I said, if we're going to get aggressive expansion, rather it was up in France, so... 
the revocation of cause. It is releasing nations then. It looks like Galicia is the better option. But you have to fully occupy them first, so let's just continue with these sieges while we can. And let's actually move everyone who isn't a mercenary out. How about you don't have a siege pip, do you? No. Of course he does and he's Herbert. Why would Herbert have a siege pip? It's the last thing Herbert needs in life. Siege pips? What nonsense. So I'm going to march this army all the way back to KN for now. Can't have it's pronounced, I'm not entirely sure. But it looks like the Spanish army is just dead. And we have taken the siege of Lyon, so we just got to wait for our allies to finish their siege as well. Let's move you guys over to Contentin. Whatever that area there is called. And I'll see what money I can get out of Spain as well. Taking Galicia is a great start to uh, weakening them though. But the more I can stop Aragon from getting on the west coast, the better. Castilian separatists, ah, that's a shame. But they are in Aragon, and Aragon should be able to deal with them themselves. Excellent, 100%. So let's see what we can do with you. We can release that, we can take that. But I'm not sure if I want to. If I took that, I could release Asturias and then feed them their cores. Have them as a sort of Spanish vassal, but I already am one over my Diplo points. Burgundy's very useful, and so is Portugal. And of course, the other ones are my uh, guys, but I could integrate Barry to get that back. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll switch Barry for you over here. It's just the one province that will allow me. Or I could perhaps vassalize Brittany instead. I could. The aggressive expansion would bring in a fair few nations, though. So I could vassalize you and take you. That would upset a lot of people. Although a month tick would take a lot out. Not sure if I want to risk it. All of you and you. Yes, because I'm not going to want both. So I could simply limit to you and then separate piece out of Spain. Making him release. Okay, so I don't want that. What I want instead is your money. Good, 400 extra gold. Could take war. No, no, no. Let's just take the gold. Get rid of Spain. Excellent. Galicia. Good luck dealing with Portugal, I say. Right, my navy we can put back over here. And then there is just you to deal with. But let's wait until the turn of the year. We're not getting called for peace. There's no need to rush. Get all this army together and we'll get them trained. Uh, now there is cool for peace. But I can wait on that a bit. Also the truce with France. Uh, I would like to go and destroy France a bit more. Get them to squeeze out some more nations. Or get them to return cause to you. Gascony. Force them to return cause could be very, very useful. Or just to release places like Gascony and Toulouse. Not sure. Brittany doesn't have any claims. There's no rush there. As for you, France, if I declared war on you, Scotland, Provence, Aachen, and Switzerland, whereas I would get Burgundy. Scotland wouldn't be that much of an issue. Provence wouldn't be that much of an issue. Aachen and Switzerland, also not that much of an issue. Well, Switzerland and Aachen. Aachen wouldn't be. Switzerland could potentially be. This would be a good reason to drag in Savoy. Who has Savoy has a lot of claims on France, so could I ally you again? No, that's a shame, because you might have been the one there. And you don't fancy joining. You have a truce till 69, April 69. Look, let's wait a year on France, because we might be able to get Armigné in to join us there. Either way, I want to wait a year here for the sake of... Uh, what is this? Ah, Cassis Bellio, that's... I want to get... Lose a lot of ducats. Ah, sure. Right, there is the risk of France joining a co starting a coalition. Otherwise, we go to war with Scotland. But then I won't be able to bring in Burgundy. I would like to have Burgundy in just for the sake of uh, all their armies. Right. Well, let's wait until this year is out and then see what the coalition looks like taking Burgundy. I can wait that little extra while. What's our sieges? Huh, Wendelisians. 
Well, let's go through and stomp these guys then. These uh, these fellas. That's a shame they did take it on time. Army tradition, thank you very much. Uh, these lands will be taken back straight away. Thank you. Okay, the year has passed. Let's see about Brittany then. Sue for peace. Vassalization. Austria would join. Should want to declare war on France straight away. But I, I do really like the idea of vassalizing their entire nation. Can I take some money as well? Of course, I could. 110 ducats. Right, well, let's force vassalize Brittany then. Excellent. And then Bari. I can't quite annex because of the opinion. Alright, let's send a gift. I need to declare war on France straight away, though. I can't wait. No Diplo to send. Alright, Burgundy is well up for it. Scotland, Provence, Aachen, and Switzerland. Let's do the conquest of... Baz Pito or Hans Hort Pito? Let's do Hort Pito. Alright, France should still be in a nice weak state. Shame about Scotland though, but uh, they'll be easy enough to deal with. Excellent, the war has been declared. And Brittany has a very high liberty desire, so let's try and fix that. Start by uh, improving relation. We'll stop Portugal. We'll go with them instead. Oh, of course. I only had to wait another little while, but Arminia is still willing to come in, so that's good. We don't have to promise them land. We'll simply get them to join. That's a whole extra army. But let me start by going and occupying what I can over here. Their armies have no morale, though. Maybe I should just rush them. We don't have a Miltec advantage. We could leave it to Burgundy. Let's go. Let's go straight over there and try to attack them while we can. Right, I've got all 26 together now, so let's still go for it. They, Burgundians, are already on top. Let's help them out. We didn't even need to. It's already victorious. Good. Right, well, let's split you in half. Alberts will go to the siege. You guys will go throughout here and besiege this. Occupy this, I mean. Stop our friends Burgundy from uh, trying their luck at occupying land. Very good. Northern France will already be occupied. Already got Paris as well. Beautiful. So, what do I do? I could try and help out Danny because they do have relatively strong armies. Or I could go and peace out Scotland. I think what I'll do is Scotland. I only need half my army with that, so I shall. We'll send over this half with. Uh, I give my ruler military command. My heir is nine, he is much better, so let's do it. We'll make Philip into a military leader. And he's alright at it. Okay, let's send him over. He can go and defeat the uh, Scottish. Should be relatively easy. We don't have a mill tech on them, but we do have more men. And a general, which they don't appear to have. Uh, so let's follow them all the way north and try to defeat them here. Excellent. We can keep following them up, and so I shall. Good, their army is defeated. Let's uh, let's go about keeping them off the land, then, shall we? Keep them from uh, creating any new armies. Send the mercenaries out and about to do just that. The rest of you. We'll go down there. You will occupy that. Very good. Clinical, I think is the right word. Yearly corruption minus. Yeah, let's do that because I do have a little bit of corruption. It's cost me some money. But I will take my administrative tech. Or should I wait? Uh, it's only going to get worse every year, so maybe I should just do it now. 
Also, Portugal did completely take over Galicia, but I'm not against that. It'd rather Portugal than Castile. It's still one nation colonizing instead of multiple, so I'm fine with that. Also, you guys, could you go in help out around here? Split in half, perhaps. Good stuff. Excellent. Still haven't taken over that, though. Is there anybody I can peace out? Perhaps Scotland, but I want Aachen gone. Aachen is under siege. We will get rid of their army. Uh, right. All right. Well, I'll do for this episode. This will be a two-part of this war. When you come back, we'll continue the uh, destruction of France. I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.